Tans no. Go ahead. Hi, I'm Tansy Massey Green. I'm performing the monologue from Ella Mossonary. I will be performing the part of Echo. Uncle Bill hardly remembers you. You know that? I asked him what you were like as a little girl. He didn't even remember. He remembered less about Grandma. He didn't have one interesting story about her. About Grandma? They didn't have any pictures of her either. Not even in their minds. To them, she was just some woman who lived a big, embarrassing life. They think they've saved me just in time. Not only from Grandma, from you too. So, I started thinking, maybe they're right. Maybe the best thing would be just to forget you two completely. After all, what did I ever get from the two of you except a good education? You especially. What were you ever to me except a voice on the phone now and then? So, I looked around the room where I was in, and it, it was real nice and blank. The way something is before you put any time into it. I could live a whole new life here. I could invent a whole new me. I could be Barbara if I wanted to, not Echo. I could fit in. I don't mean I'd be like Beth and Whitney. I'm not that crazy. But I could live like Robinson Crusoe and adapt to a strange and harsh environment. I could live in a sort of desert. I could even flourish like you have. But I kept hearing that voice on the phone. I don't even remember what you said, just the sound of it. Just the sound that said, I love you, and I failed you. I hate that sound, and I will never settle for it. <sighs> because no one's failed me. No one has ever failed me, not you and not grandma. I am a prize among women. I am your daughter. That is what I choose to be. Someone who will love you and someone who will make you love me. Nearly all the time. I'm going to stay with you. I'm going to prepare you for me. I'm going to cultivate you. I'm going to tend to you. Thank you.